Hi guys, I'm back, finally. And I wanted to go on here and give an update since it's been so long since I've made a video. Uh, Colin is 10 months now, almost, uh, on the 23rd, so he's doing great. I've been breastfeeding him still, so I think I'm going to go the full year. My initial goal was six months, and then it was going so well that I just figured why not do the full year. Um, so he was doing great. And I've been feeding him solids. He he doesn't like cereals, hasn't liked cereals, so I don't think I, I don't know what I'm doing there. Um, I offer it every time. I offer oatmeal. I put a little fruit puree in there. Uh, but he just doesn't seem to like it. I'm, I still have to try to give it to him. I'm going to continue giving it to him because it's good stuff. So we'll, we'll see if maybe in the next few months he ends up liking it. Um, we've, we've started to try to transition to the sippy cup. And that's going okay. So hopefully uh, we can get him onto that. Um, that way I can leave him a little bit more often because he won't take a bottle. So I guess that was my bad. I probably should have introduced, or not introduced because we did, but uh, gave him more bottles so that he would um, he would take them. It's really hard to leave him with a sitter or any anybody like that because he won't accept it. Um, now the other thing we used to bathe them every night before going to bed and we wouldn't always use soap um you know just every just so that he um had it there for a bedtime routine and it turned out his skin was drying out a lot um so the doctor recommended that we only bathe him twice a week so we we're bathing him twice a week now and Reason is the skin was drying out and his eczema was getting bad, so we had to bathe him less. So now the eczema is going away, his skin is more moisturized. We switched to a different brand of lotion called California Baby. I don't know if they have it everywhere. I know they don't have it out here, but uh, I have my family members ship it to me or on Amazon you can get it from there too. Uh, I just think the steroid cream is the last resort, and I really don't want to go there um, if I don't have to. They have uh, they have an eczema cream that's really good, that's steroid free, so I like that. Uh, if if the eczema gets really bad, then of course there's no choice. Then I have to use the steroid cream, but that's absolutely last resort. Uh, other than that, he's he's speaking. He's saying mama, dad, dad, papa. Uh, he says what? I, it, it's weird. I I guess I just repeated so much. He can he can say it's it's kind of funny, but so he'll say what? But he's not crawling. Uh, he he's standing or he's up on fours on his you know knees and hands, and he's going doing that back and forth motion, but. He's not crawling. He seems more interested in standing, but I don't know. Maybe he's going to be one of those kids that walks before he crawls. He just doesn't seem that interested. Um, he'll roll and he'll scooch and do all of that, but no, no walking or crawling yet. Um, he's grown out of his infant car seat, so... Uh, we upgraded to a big car seat. Um, we actually took him on his first international flight from Okinawa to Los Angeles. And it was 17 hours of travel time and it was miserable. Don't recommend it. Um, so it was, yeah, it was pretty miserable. I mean, it was okay for my husband because he didn't really have the baby <laughs> but I had him the whole way because uh, what I did is I got the um, my my breast friend so that's my nursing pillow that I use so I brought that on 
on board with me. Um, and basically he nursed and slept the whole way, but because I was worried that he would roll off or something, I actually didn't get any sleep. So that's why it was horrible. But other than that, he, he was great. Um, just nursed and slept. So, uh, it went okay. I wouldn't recommend you know, Japan to the U.S. is a first trip, but if, if you're going to do it, I think a baby is the best way to go because if you take a toddler, I just, I've seen, I've seen those parents that took those toddlers that need to get up and walk and do stuff. So, uh, on the one hand, would I do it again? I had to. I felt like I had to. I wanted my family, my all of my family to be there when I baptized him. It was a special thing for us, so uh, we went ahead and did it. Uh, on the way back, it wasn't too bad because they gave us the bassinet. So he was able to sleep, not on me, so that was fine. It wasn't bad at all. Uh, nobody even noticed there was a baby, which was crazy. They came up to us and were like, wow, it was didn't even know there was a baby so that was that was good for us because as a parent I think you're always worried that you're gonna go on that flight and upset everybody wake up everybody you just get paranoid because you you've you've flown on these things and you've been next to the baby <laughs> so you you're very conscious of what your child does so luckily Colin was good and the flight on his end went great. I was just really tired. Now, uh, while we were on our trip, um, something bad did happen about 10 days in. Um, we, I got an email from our dog sitter in Okinawa, and my dog passed away in her home. Uh, so that was, that was pretty devastating, and it put a damper on the rest of our trip so and it's it's kind of put a damper on on the holidays for us to be honest um, I started this YouTube channel making videos of the dog of this dog Malbec um, that's why I started my YouTube channel because um, I just wanted to Put, you know, Malbec was, was my boy and my in-laws and my parents wanted to see the dog. So I would upload videos on this channel and um, they would see them. And th that's actually my other dog, Riesling. Um, she's, it was a boy and a girl. So she's adjusting. She's doing okay. Um, but there's a huge, I, I noticed a change in her. Um. She came back, she was a fearless dog, and now she's very skittish. Um, as far as the dog sitter, she did not take my dog to the vet, even though he was sick for three days under her care. So we had been fighting this, and I've just had to learn a lot about the Japanese legal system. Because if, if you're out here, even though you're a military base and it's you know, whatever you have against is with an American, you still have to, you're still under Japanese law, so it has to go to Japanese court and all of that, so um, we do feel that she was responsible, so obviously we're going after her for damages. Um, now, she, um, I was able to shut down her dog sitting business. I don't think that it's right that people that don't care about animals take care of animals. She didn't have a driver's license, so she couldn't take my dog to the vet. The The vet had to come down and pick up my, de my dead dog the next morning. She couldn't do anything for him, and she didn't tell us any of this stuff. So, you know, it's really unfortunate that this happened. You know, you think you can trust people with your animals and I mean if 
if there's anything that came out of this whole devastating ordeal for me is that at least no other dogs will have to suffer under her care. Um, so at least I've gotten that far in this whole thing. Um, so I don't want to, I don't want to get emotional. I mean, he really was, um, he was my boy. So, um, I, I don't know if any of you guys have ever lost a dog. Um, but it's, it's pretty devastating. Um, anyway, on a more happier note, um, uh, I have been pretty busy just, um, <laughs> with the baby and, you know, the dog stuff and all of that. So I know I keep promising videos. <laughs> Finally here, here's a video. Um, I really want to do more. I do. Um, just ha I've, you know, I've just been going through some things, um, unfortunately, and I wanted to share with you because that's, that's what I do on here. So, all right, well, I hope everybody that is subscribed to me, uh, is doing well and getting ready for the holidays and happy and healthy and all of that. So, and all you, all you mamas, uh, good luck. Uh, I, I get asked this, uh, Colin is 10 months old. I don't think I'm going to be trying for another baby for a while just because we have a big move coming in a year. Um, we're, we're moving away from Okinawa to mainland Japan. So, um, I think I want to, I want to wait. Uh, we, we might get extended out here and I don't want to, uh, I don't want to be away from my family, um, with, you know, two children. Um, I want them to maybe enjoy the second one a little more since they don't really get to see, um, Colin very much. So anyway, well, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.